Think Fit 24 7 here. I'm reviewing my thoughts on the uh, Alpha Fly 3 versus the Vapor Fly 3. Here we go. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think between those two shoes. And first of all, let's start with the uh, Alpha Fly. It's a brand new for 2024. And um, I've done so far 185 kilometer, so I'm pretty sure I know where to put these two. And I'm gonna tell you, man, uh, the Alpha Fly 3, it's uh, a little bit heavier than the uh, Vapor Fly. And um, uh, what I felt, let's start with the uh, some of the negatives. This shoe, compared to the uh, Vaporfly, is uh, stiffer somehow. Uh, I can feel in the long distance, um, I'm, uh, you know, my knees and my joints and start to hurt after a while. Uh, for both, both of these uh, shoes, of course, but with the Alpha Fly 3, it's uh, even more because of the aggressiveness, I think, and the air pockets right here. And to be honest with you, sometimes um, somewhere here at the top, when I tied up my shoe, I have some areas that it hurts sometimes. So I need to like stop during my run and uh, adjust my uh, laces again with the Alpha Fly 3. But the Vapor Fly somehow, because of the, um, the angle of the uh, laces right here, it's perfect all the time so I'm not really uh, have any I don't have any issues with the laces and especially in the long distance I'm gonna tell you my uh, opinion I think I'm not a professional runner I think if you uh, if you are a professional runner maybe you're gonna go with the Alpha Fly 3 but as a regular just regular runner I prefer the Vapor Fly 3 and that's my, uh, you know, I'm saying my opinion. Uh, I think the Vaporfly, it's uh, more comfortable in the long distance. And uh, it's a less stiffer. Of course, this is a new one right here. But the one I ran with, it's uh, this one right here. So it's just wear and tear. Uh, this one passed, passed the 300K, I think. And it's holding pretty well man and I'll say but check out the um, alpha fly you have some tear at the back right here so I don't think this is gonna last as much as the vapor fly that's just my opinion uh, but yeah overall uh, this is what I think I think the uh, vapor fly is gonna shine and I think a lot of people when uh, when it comes to like saying the alpha fly 3 is better Maybe they are sponsors by, uh, sponsored by uh, Nike or something. And uh, this is just my honest raw review, you know what I'm saying, between those uh, two shoes. And I think uh, a lot of people, what they're going to say, the Alpha Fly is better because they just bought it. Or maybe they are supporting the company or something. But overall, I'm just saying my opinion, the Vapor Fly is better. And um, uh, yeah, so uh, here we go, man. That's my thoughts. On, uh, between those uh, two shoes sign it off make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, for more reviews I got the uh, Puma the fast R2 is coming up and uh, uh, I think I'm gonna get the um, endorphin elite by uh, Saucony also as well I think the Saucony endorphin elite is gonna beat both of these shoes I'm not sure but I think it's gonna be because sometimes, you know, you don't have to, like, uh, you don't have to think, like, Nike is the best choice for you. Sometimes you get some other companies with a different twist, with a different a, uh, a stack heights, with a different, um, what you may call it, um, uh, 
uh, stack height or uh, even the uh, 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 the drops you know what I'm saying from six to four to eight it depends on the different companies so you might as well just find another company even better than uh, the Nikes I don't think you know what I'm saying Nikes are you know like the best the best you know what I'm saying it's just it's not for everybody uh, that's my thoughts so yeah man just make sure you subscribe to the channel man for these quick reviews and uh, yeah